Hello and welcome to the Pacific Surfliner Game of the Week. It is the Super Bowl of high school basketball in the state of California as Sierra Canyon takes on Rancho Christian. Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Rosemont, set to call the play-by-play. -play. Alongside is the professor, Mr. Paul Westfall. And, Paul, this game really needs no buildup. The top two ranked teams in California. Yeah, I think everybody had this circled from the beginning of the season, and, and both these teams have played terrifically all year. Sierra Canyon is the defending state champion, and they've been highly nationally ranked all season long. It's a group of tremendous athletes that like to play fast, and so they've scored over 80 points, a lot more than they haven't this year. But for Rancho Christian, this is a young but experienced team that has had enormous expectations. So they've played as tough a national schedule as anybody in the country to get ready for nights like this. Randy, this will be a test of wills tonight. We're probably going to see 10 D1 players on the floor when the game starts. But everybody's talking about the junior, Evan Mobley, the big fella from Rancho Christian. Oh gosh, he's the top player in the class of 2020 and it's hard to get a consensus about that anytime you start ranking players, but he is the best of the juniors in the country. Uh, a freak athlete, he's seven feet tall, but plays like he's about half a foot shorter. He has all the skills. He's a tremendous uh, scorer, passer, rebounder, and shot blocker. He'll be one to watch. So will Cassius Stanley, such an explosive player on the floor tonight for the Trailblazers. Yeah, he's a human highlight, uh, blessed with an incredible vertical leap. He can slam over the tallest defenders, but he's also improved his outside shot considerably this year, which makes him almost unguardable. He's a YouTube sensation since he was a freshman, Randy. Sit back, relax. The Trailblazers and the Eagles will be flying up and down the floor next on KDOC. Hand if you think someone made mattress shopping way too complicated. Now raise your hand if you want choice without spending big bucks. Well, Bob's Discount Furniture is for all you hand raisers. Get my Bobapedic Eclipse Gel with luxurious state of the art memory foam, or my Bobapedic Eclipse Gel Hybrid, the perfect mix of memory foam and inner spring coils, each only $5.99 for the queen size set. Just need the mattress, queen size is only $3.99 each. Now raise your hand if that sounds like a great deal. Bob's Discount Furniture. Your favorite restaurants now deliver with DoorDash. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're hungry for. It doesn't even matter how many you are. Restaurants come to you. Delicious at your door. Download DoorDash. First order, $1 delivery fee. If you've been injured, call Jacoby and Myers. What am I gonna do? You need someone on your side. Call Jacoby and Myers. Hello? Yes. Is he all right? Jacoby and Myers, we've been on your side for more than 40 years. Women know what men want, men know what men want. What do we want? We want women, that's it. <laughs> It's the only thing we know for sure. It really is. We want women. How do we get them? Oh, we don't know about that. We don't know. The next step after that, we have no idea. This is why you see men honking car horns, yelling from construction sites. These are the best ideas we've had so far. Seinfeld, weeknights at 11 and 11.30 on KDOC-TV, Los Angeles. If you want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Get an extra thousand when you trade. That's 5,000 total cash, plus another thousand on Explorer. Only at your Southern California Ford dealers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Awesome. I'll go buy one myself. It was intense. Definitely a sports car. It was so fast. That was, it was incredible. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. 
Toyota. Let's go places. The Pacific Surfliner CIF Game of the Week on KDOC TV is brought to you by Shakey's Pizza. What's for dinner? Shakey's Pizza. Chicken and Mojo's. Now starting at just $9.99. And your local Southern California Toyota dealers. Rancho Christian being introduced to the fans here. Pasadena City College. The Blazers already have been introduced. Can't miss Rancho Christian with the bright yellow uniforms. <laughs> no question about that. It's a flashy program that uh, really has come of age rather quickly, but this is as exciting a two teams as California has had in a long time. Starting lineups are brought to you by Shakey's Pizza. For Sierra Canyon, Scotty Pippen Jr., Cassius Stanley, K.J. Martin, Amari Bailey, the freshman, and Christian Coloco, the seven-footer. For Rancho Christian, Jordan Montgomery is at the point. The Mobleys, Isaiah and Evan. Dominic Harris, the outstanding transfer guard, is going to Gonzaga. And Luke Turner round out the starting lineup for Ray Bearfield's Rancho Christian Eagles. Should be high-octane offense. Great energy here at Pasadena City College. What's at stake? Well, the top ranking in the state of California, the top seed in the upcoming open division of the CIF Southern Section playoffs. And both teams, Paul Westfall, are pumped up. Oh, I'll tell you, they've been, they've been building for this matchup for a long time. Both these teams played national schedules. They put on a lot of frequent flyer miles in order to play the toughest competition they could find in order to get ready for this moment. Now, these teams may play again at least once or twice, but for the first time that these talented players are going to play against each other, you know they're as revved up as possible, and we'll see who can play efficiently and yet still with enthusiasm. Evan Mobley will jump center for Rancho Christian. He's seven feet. Christian Coloco, who's also seven feet, jumps for Sierra Canyon. Pippen will run it down, and the Trailblazers have it first. Rancho Christian into an early 2-3 zone. Yeah, Coach Bearfield said they don't play a lot of zone, but he said he wanted to try it out at first. Make Sierra Canyon make some perimeter shots. Martin with the hook shot. It fails, and the rebound taken down by Isaiah Mobley. Both teams love to get up and down the floor. Both of the Mobleys have point guard skills even though they are seven feet tall, so that creates some interesting inside-out matchups. Dominic Harris on the baseline. Rebound taken by Martin of Sierra Canyon. Cassius Stanley. Crash tip. Great effort by Bailey, but he tipped it over the iron. Harris shot is rejected by Stanley. Stanley, another air ball. And a timeout taken by Bearfield immediately. Well, I thought the teams might be so keyed up that they, they might be prone to inefficiency, and I think that's what we saw in those first oh, minute and a half. Let's take a look at some of the keys to the game. For Sierra Canyon, it's been raining all day here in the Southland, but they will be raining buckets inside. This is a team that has scored over 80 points 14 times this year. And then float like a butterfly. That's what Cassius Clay, then before he became Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay said that to Sonny Liston, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Well, the Cassius on this floor tonight, Cassius Stanley, he can certainly float above the crowd and he'll sting you as well. And then give him L, that's for L Simpson. With all the praise about the starters for Sierra Canyon, one of their best players, one of their most important players is L Simpson coming off the bench. He does everything well. And number 20 is a lockdown defender. Montgomery, the point guard for Rancho Christian, a three-year starter. Inside, Mobley goes up. And Isaiah is knocked to the floor. And he is fouled and will go to the line. He's coming off a game last year where he scored 25 points in the tournament against Sierra Canyon. But last night, he scored 57 against Temecula Prep. Almost unguardable if he gets the ball that deep. Let's take a look at Rancho Christian's keys to the game if we might. 
for Rancho Christian. Isaiah Mobley is known as the governor, so no pardon from the governor tonight. There'll be no leniency. Dominant Harris, Dominic Harris can be dominant. When he scores, they are really tough to guard. And Cool Hand Luke, if the Mobleys are guarded well and, and struggle a little bit, the sophomore, Luke Turner, capable of a big night. Cool Hand Luke. Martin misses. Boy, those long arms of the Mobleys alter shots. Turner brings it in. Rancho Christian with a nice record, 23 and 4. Sierra Canyon, 24 and 2. Turner in the corner. He's got it. On a lot of other teams, Luke Turner would be the man. A 6'6 sophomore who is a terrific scorer, has improved his defense as well. Last year, he's one of Southern California's best freshmen. He's the type of player that sort of is under the radar when you have to deal with the Mobleys and Harris. Martin with the dunk. Oh. The left hand slam. They loved it here at Pasadena City College. Only the beginning. You're going to see a lot of high flying artistry tonight. Turner with a three out of the corner. He was the sixth man last year as a freshman starting this year. And the fireworks have just begun. <laughs> cool hand. Luke's got a hot hand to start this one. 5.20 to play opening quarter. 6-2 for Rancho Christian. Pippen from downtown. Yes. Scotty Pippen Jr., of course, his dad, a brilliant player in the NBA, playing for the Chicago Bulls alongside Michael Jordan. That's Six part of five. Scotty's game that has really improved. When he came here from Florida last year, he was a little reluctant to shoot the ball from deep, but now he has increased his range considerably. A Bailey steal. And another dunk. This one from Cassius Stanley with <laughs> force. <laughs> The human highlight, we've all seen it since he was a freshman. He was sensational, a YouTube sensation with his high-flying antics. But if he's loose in the open court, he's positively amazing and unstoppable. Do you think they'll play above the rim tonight? Oh, my goodness. This is like a college game. You mentioned it in the open. Ten high major Division I players on the floor. And it, they have the size of, there are many colleges who would trade the size that you're seeing out there from these two teams. Open look out of the corner. And it's brilliantly dropped in by Jaden Byers, who's just come in. Coach Barefield thinks he has huge upside. He's ultra quick, athletic defender. And if he's knocking down corner threes, that will stretch the defense. Pippen going to work. Look at how he rose up just to catch that pass. He was three feet off the ground. Yeah, he'll, he'll take away a lot of errant passes and <laughs> make it look like an assist. The block by Mobley on Martin. Byers is fouled. Jaden Byers has come in and immediately paid dividends, but it's a high wire act for Cassius Stanley. The team starting to heat up at Pasadena City College on KDOC. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Hug the coast on the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner and embrace the journey to Southern California's top destinations. Cruise by sparkling beaches and rolling hills as you travel to renowned wine countries, beloved surf cities, and vibrant downtowns. Let us take you to SoCal's most inviting and inspired communities. Plan your next trip at PacificSurfLiner.com and come hug the coast with us. Why just drive? You can be thrilled. See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Sierra Canyon, the Trailblazers, down by two to Rancho Christian. And Martin's dunk was sensational. And there's dad looking on, Kenyon Martin, who had a very productive career in the National Basketball Association. 
KJ was their leading scorer last year, which is a bit of a surprise when you've got the talents of uh, like Stanley and last year's uh, Dwayne Washington, who's at Ohio State. But KJ just keeps getting better every time I see him. I think he's uh, learned some of Dad's post moves and an explosive score at the rim, and he's just going to keep getting better. Being looked at by West Virginia, of course, the dad played for Bob Huggins at Cincinnati, so West Virginia, one of the leaders for K.J. Martin, along with Cincinnati, Florida State, Georgetown, Memphis, a lot. Wish K.J. Martin would come their way. Myers hits one of two. And seven. Early action. Rancho Christian with the advantage. Eagles have extended that zone defense out a little bit, which could, should create some driving lanes, but Sierra Canyon got to move the ball, got to reverse it a little bit faster. Andrew Austin, 21, has checked in for the Trailblazers. And Bailey, I like him. He can oh. really get up. Oh, he is special. Andre told me he's, uh, he's fearless. Uh, even though he's a freshman playing with a lot of college guys, he's fearless. Montgomery had it rejected from behind by Scotty Pippen Jr. Brilliant defensive effort. No weak stuff allowed tonight. You better go strong to the rim because there's a lot of shot blockers, especially help side shot blockers, although that was an on-ball defender who swatted that one away. A near takeaway by the hustling Amari Bailey. A lot of pride at stake here. Rancho Christian was knocked out of the tournament, out of the playoffs by Sierra Canyon last year. Sierra Christian went on to win the state title. But Sierra Canyon lost the open title to modern day in a bit of a stunner. But until that game, as we have a look at the Rancho Christian Brain Trust, until the modern day final uh, for Sierra Canyon, Rancho Christian played Sierra Canyon tougher than anybody else in that first round. Evan Mobley at seven feet can handle the rock. And he was fouled. He got pushed as he made that move in the paint. The Mobleys are so unselfish. Their dad, Eric, who's an assistant coach at USC, was their AAU coach, and he taught them how to play team basketball, unselfish basketball. They are just as happy to make a pass that succeeds than they are to make a dunk. Number zero, Bryson Stevens, a great athlete, has checked in for Rancho Christian. Mobley shot off the iron. That was Isaiah Mobley, and here come the Trailblazers. Austin trying to put it back up. This is you who's checked in, and he's blocked brilliantly by Isaiah Mobley. Great length for both teams. Yeah, yeah, no question about that. Harris goes hard to the goal and draws the foul. Dominic transferred in from Pacifica Christian, so he had to sit out the first half of the season, but he was the man at Pacifica Christian. He had the eternal green light where he averaged about 26 a game. So the talented shot maker has tried to immerse himself into a team full of talent, and he's gotten better and better every game as far as assimilating into what Rancho Christian's trying to do. But if he's on, they're really good. When he had uh, 21 points in a, in a win over... Uh, I that. That be, I, and so, uh, like I say, when he when he gets to 20, they're going to be tough to beat. Yeah, his coach Ray Bearfield plain and simply says, Dominic Harris is a great player. Lead is two for Rancho Christian on defense. Bailey at the top of the offense here to run the point. Terrific defense by Rancho Christian collapsing in the 2-3 yeah, zone. Yeah, they, they help very well, and that's why you're going to have to have good ball reversal if you're Sierra Canyon, if you're going to create some separation in that zone. Taron Frank, number 15 on. He's been out injured. Oh. Good to see him back out there. It's been a long layoff for him for Sierra Canyon. Yeah, he had a meniscus problem, but I'll tell you, he's a double-double machine, and so that just adds to the talent pool at Sierra Canyon. Pippen from downtown. Scotty Pippen Jr. so smooth, oh. and there's his dad. 
and that's two for Scotty, and he, he is a pass first point guard still, but just to let you know, I'll make him if you don't guard me. Harris off the iron, tipped and controlled, taken down by Taron Frank, his dad, Tellus, played in the NBA. The jumper is off the iron by Frank. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and a breakout, the leak out, and the rejection by Pippen on Bryson Stevens. An amazing play on so many different levels. Evan Mobley grabbed the rebound and went behind his back to free himself to make that pass to Stevens. And Stevens, with that 40 inch vertical, is seldom stopped at the rim, but Pippen got it. Final minute. Opening quarter, tight, tense battle. Mobley, Evan Mobley, the junior, will back it up. The number one junior in the nation. Harris, the drive, the bank, and the score for Dominic Harris. Pretty play. Oh, individual skills off the charts. Here's Pippen again for three. Martin tipping it. Pippen got it back. Bailey out of the corner. And a terrific rebound. Spread eagle job by oh. Evan Mobley. There are no rebounds under the rim tonight. On the side, misfiring is Jaden Byers. Up and down we go. Pippen penetrating. Quarter's over. After one. We expected a great game, and we have not been disappointed. It's a one-point lead for Rancho Christian. Defense and great acrobatic shots. The story of this night, and Scotty Pippen is brilliant from the perimeter. The Fix Surfliner Game of the Week on KDOC-TV is brought to you by your Southern California Ford dealers. Over 100 years ago, we were talking about the Model T. Now here we are, talking about winning the most J.D. Power IQS and Appeal Awards, talking about driver assist technology, talking about the highest customer loyalty in the country. But that's enough talking. Seriously, that was a lot of talking. Back to building. Now get an extra thousand when you trade. That's another thousand on top of zero for 60 plus 3,000 on F-150. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Tonight's game is being brought to you by the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner. Travel by train to top SoCal destinations, including San Diego, Santa Barbara, and more. Plan your trip at PacificSurfliner.com. A remarkable first quarter. It's 13 to 12, but every basket was a highlight basket, and you'd think it was, you know, 22 to 20. But the defense has been incredible on both ends, and so you earn every basket you get. But we're ready for second quarter action, and if it's anything like the first quarter, sit back and enjoy. Yeah, and again, to me, what stands out is how the defenses are so impenetrable. <laughs> no cheap baskets. Yeah, yeah. There's a shot blocker and rim protector on it, each side. Mobley to Harris. Thought about the baseline, jump shot five on the clock. Put up by Evan Mobley, no good, and a whistle sounds. One Maybe thing jump ball. One thing I enjoyed about the first quarter was the, the referees are doing a tremendous job. They're letting them play, and that's Michael Mojica, Trevor Caressa, and Jaime Oseguera. And you know, this level of talent, you gotta let these kids play a little bit. You can't call every touch foul. And uh, there's some serious contact underneath the basket, but it's been uh, called evenly on both sides. Yeah, Jaden Byers limped off. Hopefully he'll be okay for Rancho Christian. One point deficit. Martin in the middle of the zone. Coloco battling to get it back. And a great effort by Dominic Harris. 
throwing it off of Coloco and out of bounds, and it belongs to Rancho Christian. And you saw how much arc K.J. Martin had to put on that little 10-footer because of the length of the Mobleys. Normally, at 6'7", and a pretty pretty good leaper, K.J. would just go up and, and shoot that. Normally, he had to put an extra foot of arc on that, caused it to go wide right. Stevens and Montgomery on the back line for Rancho Christian. Evan Mobley in the corner. Isaiah Mobley off to Harris. The three ball for Dominic Harris. Again, he's on his way to Gonzaga. Outstanding recognition by Montgomery. He was patient with where he was going to go with the ball, and when Harris got some clearance in the corner, that's where he needed to go, and doesn't take Dominic long to get rid of it. Long one. Does not fall for Andrew Austin. Luke Turner back in and Stevens out for Rancho Christian. Turner was very good early when no one else could make a basket for Rancho Christian. Luke Turner, very young player, very talented. You mentioned it before. He'd be a star yeah. in just about any he'd high be, school in Southern California. He'd be 20, 25 points a game. He'd be the number one option on offense every trip down in the half court. But he's just fine. He's very content to play for Ray Bearfield. He knows what's going on at Rancho Christian. Bailey to Pippen. Pippen has six points. He's hit a couple triples in this first half. Inside of six minutes to play before intermission. Still in that zone defense. They've done a great job of collapsing on the ball, however. Turner wants Harris, who rescues in the corner. Goes for the reverse, and the block by Martin. K.J. blowing out of the backcourt. Slips and falls. It comes to Pippen, who puts it up and draws the foul. Martin and the Blazers a little bit fortunate there as the K.J. trip right there, but it found the waiting hands of Scottie Pippen, Jr. Yeah, I think Martin was getting ready to unload one of those monster dunk attempts, but his footing betrayed him. But then Pippen saw who was coming, knew that with the length of one of the Mobleys coming at him that he had to extend out to his right and just flip it up, get it off the glass. He draws the two-shot opportunity. Scotty Pippen Jr. is the joystick of Sierra Canyon. <laughs> he controls the game. He does. He, he, when he came here from Florida, the competition level was so much higher that it took him a while to sort of get used to the competition. But he's really comfortable this year running the show, and I love the way he competes, and that stoic demeanor is just like that. Leads everybody with seven. Dominic Harris for Rancho Christian has six. Three-point game. Blazers have gone to a 2-3 zone the last couple of times down, but that's... Uh... Harris again, <laughs> three more. Dominic say, Harris, that, an elite shooter. That is to the liking of Harris. If you're going to give me that wing three, I'm going to take it. Yeah, he is a zone buster. Rebound taken down by Isaiah Mobley. Pace picks up. Three ball on the way. One short. Putting that one up was number two, Jordan Montgomery. Montgomery, a three-year starter. He's gotten better at that catch and shoot three. He's always been an excellent distributor of the basketball. When you have this much talent, it's hard to make sure everybody gets enough shots to stay happy. But Jordan can make that wing three more often than not this year. Inside of five minutes to play in the half. Pippen has the ball. Bailey. He's offline and one shot only because of the rebounding prowess of Evan Mobley. Evan's going to the basket. Scores and draws the foul. Evan Mobley, the junior, the MVP at the Damian Classic. Special talent. There aren't a lot of seven-foot guys that can start that drive 22, 23 feet from the basket. He knew that he had you on him. You was going to be a terrific player maybe next year. Uh, the game is, is a little quick for him this year. He's going to be an amazing shot blocker and talent uh, probably next year when he gets a little more accustomed to playing California top-level basketball. But uh, that time, Mobley knew who he had on him, and he was determined to get to the rim. Turner takes it away from you. Eight-point lead for Rancho Christian. Turner thought about the three, didn't pull the trigger. Mobley will. 
Excellent rebound from oh. KJ Morton. <laughs> I'll say. Sierra Canyon looking to get the ball in the basket. They've had trouble doing that. Pippen creates and draws the foul. Well, right now, Dominic Harris is dropping down shots. And inside, Mobley is finishing. And one of the reasons, another three ball for Rancho Christian from Harris. That's why they lead by eight. People that we talk to feel like they've worked hard to save money their whole life, making monthly contributions to 401ks and IRAs just like they were told to do, but are frustrated because they don't have enough money for retirement. If you can relate to any of this, the first thing I want to tell you is that it's not your fault. Everyone has been programmed to think and invest the wrong way from a very young age. Many of the decisions that you've been taught to make are designed to make Wall Street wealthy and not you. In these classrooms, thousands of people just like you have discovered how to reinvent themselves financially. You can too. Call 855-839-3965 right now to sign up for a free half-day class near you. Plus, you'll get our free Wall Street Insider Kit, which includes two educational investing videos and access to award-winning articles and lessons from our expert instructors. Call 855-839-3965. Learn financial skills that will empower you to live the life you want to live. Well, he's a father tonight, but obviously, as you look at that graphic, look at the accolades for Scotty Pippen. Oh, one of the, you know, 50 greatest players in the history of the NBA. Uh, when I talked to him last year, he said that the reason that he wanted Scotty to come from uh, junior to come from Florida was the fact that he knew he would play against the best competition in order to get him ready for the next level. And Scotty Pippen Jr. has been rewarded. He has uh, decided he's going to play his, his next level basketball at Vanderbilt. So congratulations to the family. Excellent shooter. Great leader is Scotty Pippen Jr. And everyone talks about how much he's improved from a year ago. Oh, there's no question about it. I saw him early in the summer when he came from Florida. And while he always has had this high basketball IQ, I don't know if he necessarily had the confidence as well as the increased ability at all levels that we see this year. Uh, he's turned out to be a terrific player. And look at those quick hands on defense. Ten second violation. Sierra Canyon forcing the turnover. Great work by Pippen on the back line there. And Pippen already has 10 points. He's got 10 of Sierra Canyon's 15. Yeah, he's been the story for Sierra Canyon. I'd like to see the Trailblazers probe the defense a little bit more. With the exception of Pippen, everything down court, uh, for in the half court for Sierra Canyon has been one pass and a shot. And this time they're doing a little bit more reversing the basketball. Going to going to probe the defense some. Let's see if we can get somebody to cut to the basket. Maybe get a, a high lob over the back line. Tipping off balance. Whistle sounds. Could have been a three-point play. Yeah, they said before the shot, so I believe it'll be out of bounds to Sierra Canyon. But look at how, I mean, this is a next-level play for Scotty Pippen. He drove the contact, heard the whistle, and then threw the ball up. Uh, that'll get you two free throws at the next level. Dominic Harris picking up his first foul. You surrounded. Boy, that back line, 7 feet, 6, 10, 6, 6 of Rancho Christian in that zone is intimidating yeah. for anybody that goes and tries to make a play in the paint. No doubt about that. We have a shot clock situation. The shot clock never started. That's why we had a whistle. I'd like to see Sierra Canyon flash somebody to the free throw line and then see if you can go high low because if you can get the ball to the free throw line, then you can go over the top to Cassius Stanley, who can fly over the top of even seven footers. We haven't seen them try to go high lob to Stanley at all here tonight against that zone. Cassius has been very quiet so far, but that could change at any time. Trailblazers continue to be cold, and here comes Luke Turner the other way. Pass was a little behind him, or that would have been a dunk. Montgomery will set it up, working against Pippen. Harris, you know he can shoot the basketball. Great pass. The open look for Evan Mobley, who fails. And here's Pippen the other way. Probing, going all the way and scoring. 12 points for Scotty Pippen Jr. And a steal by Cassius Stanley, <laughs> getting back beautifully on defense. You think he'd make a good free safety in football? Just perhaps. Pippen looking to force the action. That one's 
deflected out of Martin's hands, and it'll belong to the Trailblazer. On the previous basket by Scotty Pippen, he came down, but it was two on three. So he knew that he didn't have numbers. So he waited for everybody to kind of get clustered in the middle of the paint, and he drove around him. Oh, oh what a tip by that. Martin. Stanley just threw it up on the inbounds play, and KJ guided it home. Oh. That was spectacular. The elevation of KJ Martin is impressive against players that are considerably tall. Evan Mobley from the side. Stanley controls the rebound and with a two, with just above two minutes to play in the half, Sierra Canyon can get even. A three ball would give him the lead inside to you. Pippen the settling force for three in the lead. Coming back the other way is Byers. Turner, three ball. Yes. Oh, quick trigger for the sophomore. Second one from the deep left corner that he's hit in the ball game. That got the bench up dancing. Stanley looking to go to work. Open look in and out for L. Simpson. Montgomery had it deflected out of bounds again by Pippen. Scotty Pippen Jr.'s got tremendously quick hands. Yeah, he and, and he doesn't foul. I mean, that's you see a lot of guys reach, but they rake across the arm. Now uh, he's a, a tremendous defender. You can't be lazy with the basketball around Pippen Jr. Coloco comes back in for you. They got some nice minutes out of you. The Mobleys did not dominate while Coloco was out. Evan Mobley penetrates and draws the foul. Good up fake that time. Got Coloco a little bit off balance, and all he could do is reach and foul, and he acknowledged it to the referee. Christian going to go to University of Arizona. Isaiah Mobley looking to back Martin down. Isaiah shooting over Martin and scoring. Wow, that was excellent defense by Martin. Just a little better offense by Mobley. Soft touch. Cassius Stanley, that was a smooth move. It's about time. He's been kind of quiet. He's letting the game come to him that I like, but it might be time for him to look for his shot a little more. Here we go. Pippen with the takeaway. Has Stanley and Martin, and Martin will jam. They love it here at Pasadena City College when KJ throws it down. I talked to Ray Bearfield before the game. We both agreed, no easy ones. You can't give Sierra Canyon easy ones. When they get out in transition, they are devastating. Turner for three. Yes. <laughs> He's hit a couple out of that deep left corner, and he loves it. 29-23 for Rancho Christian. Pippen on the baseline. It's a block. Boy, that Pippen can really force the action. He knows what he's up against here, so all he's looking for is contact. And when Mobley did not get his foot firmly on the baseline, it gave Pippen just a sliver of space to get through and draw the contact. Neither team in the bonus, so it's inbounded. Final seconds of the opening half. Who will take the shot? Stanley. He hits again. Cash is Stanley finding the rhythm. Turner for another one before intermission. No good. At the break, Rancho Christian, the Eagles have a 29-25 lead. Pippen has been spectacular. And Turner out of the corner has been nothing but nylon. And how about this guide play from K.J. Martin? Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Hug the coast on the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner and embrace the journey to Southern California's top destinations. Cruise by sparkling beaches and rolling hills as you travel to renowned wine countries, beloved surf cities, and vibrant downtowns. Let us take you to SoCal's most inviting and inspired communities. Plan your next trip at PacificSurfLiner.com and come hug the coast with us. Your favorite restaurants now deliver with DoorDash. It 
doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're hungry for. It doesn't even matter how many you are. Restaurants come to you. Delicious at your door. Download DoorDash. First order, $1 delivery fee. Diamonds at their lowest price in years. Half carat solitaires are now $3.99, one carat $7.90, two carat $9.50 per carat, plus one carat studs $3.99. Insane prices on thousands of GIA diamonds and designer rings. Buy direct, the jewelry exchange Tustin. Sherlock! Sherlock! I'm a complicated man. Elementary, tonight at 10 on KDOC-TV, Los Angeles. Why just drive? You can be thrilled. See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Our Pacific Surfliner Game of the Week at the break. The Eagles of Rancho Christian by four over Sierra Canyon. What an entertaining first half. And slam dunks were the story. It was fun to watch. Look at these highlights. So many dramatic baskets. You'd think the score was 40-something to 30-something, but because the defense has been so fundamentally sound and full of energy that every basket has been hard to come by. But between the three-point shooting of Luke Turner, who has 11 points in the first half, and the terrific Scotty Pippen, who has really come alive when most of his teammates were a little slow to get started here in the first half. Pippen has kept them in the game, but this has been everything it's been uh, asked to be. These two teams really getting after each other and some high flying rebounds and slam dunks to boot. Yeah, we're seeing Turner knock down these shots, but let me tell you folks, that first half had great thrills at the defensive end as well as the offensive players. Martin was spectacular with the dunks, but his team is back by four. Keep going, keep going. When Chicken McNuggets are this good, $2 goes a long way. Find a little joy at McDonald's on the one, two, three dollar menu. Still going. Honda knows you're always on the lookout for something better. So it's no surprise, the Honda CRV was named a 2019 KBB.com Best Buy. It has an interior that's spacious and refined, handling that's smooth and comfortable and an exterior that speaks for itself. So if you're looking for something truly impressive, look no further. Hurry in to a Honda dealer to find a great deal on a CRV. Psst. Hey, you, the one with the designer dog collar. Wondering how I upgraded to this sweet pad? A 1,200 square foot bathroom and my very own spa. All I had to do was give my human the look. With Wells Fargo's 3% down payment on a fixed rate loan and a simpler online application, getting into my dream home was easier than ever. Get your human to visit wellsfargo.com slash woof. What would she do without me? I am Costanza, <laughs> Lord of the Idiots. Who are you, George Costanza? Got who I am. Who am I? I'm the bad boy. My name's Buck Naked. I'm a porno writer. Art Vandalay. People are always saying to me, you know, you're quite a character. I'm really sorry. I was in the pool! Seinfeld, weeknights at 11 and 11.30 on KDOC-TV, Los Angeles. We've got just the thing for those early Mondays and tired Tuesdays. And why me Wednesdays? That's it. Thursdays, stick a fork in it. Fridays, still sleeping Saturdays and sun stop shining Sundays. It's $2 any size iced coffee at McDonald's. At the break, it's the Eagles by four. You know it's a big game when the guru is here. The guru from the LA Times is Eric Sonheimer. Eric, great to see you as always. Thank you. Yes, uh, it's a great game so far, uh, although I think Sierra Canyon will make some adjustments and uh, take care of uh, Rancho Christian in the end. We want to talk about some of the upcoming events. One of them is the LA City Section Championships, and we'll get to the Southern Section in a moment. The Open Division has its pairing. Top right is Fairfax. They have two wins over Westchester. You see the pairings. Your thoughts? Yeah, clearly Fairfax and Westchester are the top two teams. I expect them 
to meet in the finals on February 23rd at LA Southwest College. But Birmingham is getting back one of its injured players, one of the Cooley brothers, Cofield brothers, so that should help them. I think the Washington Prep Taft game is the best opening game they played earlier in the season. Taft won at Washington Prep, so I'm looking forward to that game. But Fairfax has played great. They've won seven games in the last nine days to go 7-0. and a, a tremendous performance by those players, a grueling schedule, and yet they did it, and they beat Westchester twice. Yeah, Dinwiddie, the transfer from Culver City, has really helped them out. Well, now, Eric, you just mentioned that Fairfax has gotten the better of Westchester twice now in recent times, one close, one not so close. But we all know that's not going to have a whole lot of effect when they meet the third time, is it? Exactly. All, all the players know there's going to be a third time. I always joke to the coaches, as am and Bake, did you save any plays? Because there's going to be a third time. <laughs> so it, it helps them with the C, but in the end, they're going to have to win a third time and win the big one. Uh, Westchester has been able to do that. And again, there is the opening round. And again, it's eight teams, so you get to that final quickly. Now, in the southern section, we're not 100% sure how they're going to match up. That'll be determined tomorrow. But here are the teams we believe that'll be in that Elite Eight in their open division. It certainly is an Elite Eight. Uh, Sierra Cannon and Rancho Christian will probably be the top two seeds. Rancho owns two wins over Centennial. But any of these teams can win on a given day, and I look forward to some of the matches. It's going to be pool play this year, so that should make it more interesting. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, I think a sleeper in all of this is Centennial. Uh, their only losses come to Sierra Canyon and Rancho Christian, and uh, Josh Giles has got a real nice team out there. You think they could uh, somehow mess up this dream final? They definitely can. They played Sierra Canyon very strong. They're, they played a tough schedule. St. John Bosco here we're seeing is another team that on a given day can do well because they can shoot the three very well. And these games are going to be played. The top seeds get to host the game, so that also is going to be in consideration this year. They don't go one place for one game and then back to another place. It's the top seeds hosting all the games. There they are. That's what we believe, that those teams will be on display tomorrow as the Open Division on CIF Southern Section is made official. Thank you for joining us, Eric. We're going to step out. The second half is next. Rancho Christian, 29. Sierra Canyon, 25. You'll see some high flyers in the back half next on our KDOC Game of the Week. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. I'm a complicated man. Can you hear me? You can remove my headphones! Elementary, tonight at 10 on KDOC TV, Los Angeles. Hug the coast on the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner and embrace the journey to Southern California's top destinations. Cruise by sparkling beaches and rolling hills as you travel to renowned wine countries, beloved surf cities, and vibrant downtowns. Let us take you to SoCal's most inviting and inspired communities. Plan your next trip at PacificSurfliner.com and come hug the coast with us. My Queen Power Bob Adjustable Bed Base and my state-of-the-art Bobapedic Eclipse Gel Mattress. An untouchable value at only $9.99 complete. Or swap in the Eclipse Gel Hybrid for a little extra support. Also $9.99 complete. So raise your head and feet with a touch of a button or a tap on your phone. The other phone, Bob. Oh, I was wondering why that wasn't working. Bob's Discount Furniture. Operator? Hello, operator? Where did they all go? When you hear the word sizzler, do you think steak or shrimp? Perhaps you think both, as in steak and shrimp scampi. Or how about that steak and honey sriracha shrimp starting at $11.99? Yeah, when you hear steak, shrimp, and $11.99, you want sizzler. Why just drive? You can be thrilled. See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. They're packed in here at Pasadena City College, and there are some numbers. Scotty Pippen with 11 leading the way, and Luke Turner with 11 as well for Rancho Christian. Well, you see Rancho Christian has the lead despite little production point-wise from the Mobleys, only seven between them. That's where Harris and Turner come in. 
their ability to score against the zone defense with some precise outside shooting has been the difference in the first half. I think you'll see Stanley and Martin contributing much, much more in the uh, second half. And our halftime stats are brought to you by your local Southern California Ford dealers. Of course, Pasadena City College. Michael Cooper, the former Great Laker, played here, and so did Jackie Robinson. He broke the barrier. Jackie Robinson, one of the greats of all time in baseball, but he also played basketball here, and Martin puts it down. K.J. Martin shaving the lead to two. Pretty jump hook. He put that extra arc on it because he knew who was going to come and try to get it. That's a big-time move by K.J. Sierra Canyon running and jumping and moving defensively. We didn't see this in the first half. <laughs> they were very passive in that zone in the first half. Much more intensity on the first possession for Rancho Christian. Montgomery thought about the triple. Goes low to Isaiah Mobley. Out to his brother Evan who fires. Rebound Pippen. Trailblazers with a chance to get even with a basket. Mark inside, left hand layup for two. Four in a row. And it's a 29 draw. Very patient move by K.J. Martin. A little bit of a pump fake, and then he just held the ball an extra beat. Harris with a spectacular move going down Main Street and finishing with the left hand. He has all of the offensive skills to be a success at Gonzaga. Pippen ties it at the other end. Teams exploding offensively to begin the third quarter. Yeah, they started out slowly in the first quarter. I think that was maybe just a little bit too excitement. Now, now they have relaxed. They're going to play their game. And Down low to Evan Mobley, who backs it up. Isaiah outside. Now they work it inside. Harris left free on the baseline. Pretty pass. No look pass by Jordan Montgomery. Got Harris an easy one. Pippen to Coloco, who puts it through. <laughs> Right Tied back at you. Andre Chevalier. He didn't like the fact that his defense has broken down. He loved the fact that Coloco slammed it through. But I love the way that Sierra Canyon pushed it after a made basket. Pippen down the middle of the lane. The no look drop off to Coloco for the finish. Coke Loco, the transfer from Birmingham. Great shot blocker. Again, you mentioned it earlier tonight, Paul. He's on his way to the University of Arizona. Yeah, I, I think that uh, he will be an immediate contributor because of his defensive abilities. Christian is an elite shot blocker with really long arms, and and so he'll he'll work on the offensive part of his game, but he'll play right away at in Tucson. How do you like the pace of this third quarter? Oh, I think both teams realize they the offense was a little bit behind the defense in the first half. Now you're going to see some full court pressure coming up from Sierra Canyon. Well, in the first minute 50, the offense for both sides in control. And this is what the fans want to see. They want the shots to go down. Everybody loves the dunk and the three ball. Sierra Canyon got out of that zone defense. They'll go man now. Mobley, that's Evan Mobley. Harris, shot, good. Boy, Dominic Harris. Boy, he can pull the trigger in a hurry and he gives Ranso Christian the lead again. Pippa tries to tie it. Rebound taken down by Isaiah Mobley. Evan inside, missed the layup. Martin rebounds and he's fouled. I think that's a frustration foul by Evan Mobley. He did everything he needed to do against two defenders in order to get himself really a point blank look with the reverse layup, but it just didn't go in and I think that surprised Evan as much as anybody else. So he got a little disgusted. A little bit overzealous in trying to grab the ball, collects the foul. 5.25 to play in the third. The tempo is picked up. Sierra Canyon looking for a basket to tie it. Shot up by Bailey, no good. Deflected out of bounds. It will belong to the Eagles. Every shot in close is going to be contested. That time just a very difficult effort from Sierra Canyon finds its way out of bounds, but they will continue with the full court pressure. I would think that Rancho Christian would be a very difficult team as uh, Taryn Frank enters the game for Sierra Canyon. I would think Rancho Christian very difficult team to press because they got five ball handlers out there. Montgomery working with Turner and back to Montgomery comes underneath. There's a block beautifully by Cassius Stanley. Pippen in the open court. Draws the foul. 
Scotty Pippen is very quick, so smart. Changes speeds really well, also changed direction there, and once again knew that the long arm of the law in Mobley was waiting for him, so he extended with that left hand, the hand he was going to shoot with, extended it to its maximum, and then just flicked it up knowing he was going to get some contact and go to the line. Evan Mobley has his second foul. One more for Scotty Pippen Jr. Rancher Christian has missed a couple of point blank opportunities, one by Mobley, the other one by Montgomery. We're even at 35, and the heat is on in the backcourt. Rancher Christian able to break the press. And Isaiah Mobley draws the foul. Yeah, the problem with pressing full court is if Rancho Christian does break it, then you've got numbers. You'll have three on two at the other end, and, and that is uh, could be a problem. Frank picked up the foul, and an easy one inside for Isaiah Mobley, the USC commit. Mr. Versatility there. He uh, showed good patience in the paint against Frank. Bailey. Breaking down the defense, able to score as Isaiah Mobley fell down, and we're even at 37. And it's a back and forth third quarter battle. Dominic Harris lobbing. Mobley missed the dunk. Usually Isaiah would put that one away. Pippen will or won't he? He missed the dunk. We don't see that very often. Frank can't score. Turner back the other way. Mark blocks Mobley. What a foul, and you can see now the emotions starting to take effect, and they're on their feet at Pasadena City College. Amazing blocks on both ends. First, Evan Mobley with a tremendous block on Frank, and then the other end, that is Isaiah Mobley. They got stuffed, and he says, bring it. Bring it, everybody. This is why you came to see us. One against two in the state, and little to separate. Harris at the other end. Great action in the third quarter. We're even in Coloco with the flush. Over 100 years ago, we were talking about the Model T. Now here we are. Talking about winning the most JD Power IQS and Appeal Awards. Talking about driver assist technology. Talking about the highest customer loyalty in the country. But that's enough talking. Seriously, that was a lot of talking. Back to building. Now get an extra thousand when you trade. That's another thousand on top of zero for 60 plus 3,000 on F-150. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Your favorite restaurants now deliver with DoorDash. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're hungry for. It doesn't even matter how many you are. Restaurants come to you. Delicious at your door. Download DoorDash. First order, $1 delivery fee. Well, next Friday, we don't know where we're going to be, but we can tell you that we will have a phenomenal game. Yeah, we're going to be in the open division for the first of the pool play, and uh, that'll be determined uh, guys, sometime early next week, so make sure you check your local listings. But it'll be, a, it'll be an amazing game no matter what. The Open Division, what a great concept over the last few years. The best of the best, and we'll have the best of the games right here for you on KDOC next week, February 8th. Isaiah Mobley perched at the foul line. Again, he scored 57 points last night against Temecula Prep. Not only did he score the 57 points, he <laughs> yes. had 15 yes. rebounds yes. and 11 assists. <laughs> yes, exactly. One of two. Eagles by one. Trailblazers in search of the advantage. Cassius Cassius Christian Stanley. back in a 1-2-2 in a two, two zone, Randy. He's so smooth, I thought he was going to raise up and shoot. Frank goes inside, and the dunk thrown down by Martin, who flexes going back down the floor. Oh, oh. slammed that one through contact. That was a strong move. Indeed. So. Make Dad proud. 
Stanley takes it away from Mobley. All the way and one for Cassius Stanley, this 6'5 senior. The human highlight does it again. He's sizing up Mobley, knows he's coming for the block, so he shows him the ball and takes it away. Soft off the glass and one for Cassius Stanley. Cassius Stanley on the Max Preps National watch list for player of the year. And he is just fun to watch because he just does everything within the framework of the offense. Let's the game come to him. Yes, and I think that's a change from previous years for Cash. This is when you're the, you know, the most athletic guy, one of the most talented guys on any floor that you happen to play on. It's natural that you might force some things. But this year, I think his shot selection has become so much better and his ability to finish is unparalleled. Amari Bailey with a near steal. Frank Highly out, entertaining sorry. third quarter. Yeah, Frank out. They will limit his minutes in the first game back from the meniscus, so he'll play in spurts. Dominic Harris will bring it up. Dominic's been impressive. Oh, he is a he's a pure offensive talent. And he'll shoot the three and get it. If you fall down or lay off of him, it's money in the bank. Dominic Harris, he can pull the trigger again. He's the transfer from Pacifica Christian. And he is a difference maker. Yeah, I mean, because you're, you're concentrating so much on the Mobleys in the paint that he's going to have space most of the time beyond the arc, and he certainly can fill it up from 23, 25 feet. Trailblazers with a precarious one point lead. Down low, Martin. Left hand off the glass, no good. Tip back the other way. Mobley is fouled well, That might, hard. Be, that might be intentional. Let's it see. Like it, They're asking for it. it. He made very little play on the ball there. They're not, they're talking it over. Uh, this is 50-50 whether that's an intentional foul. They're going to say it's not, and that's a break for Sierra Canyon because Mobley was loading up for a thunderous dunk. He's just a junior. Ray Bearfield over on the Rancho Christian sideline is saying he grabbed him. He made no play on the ball. Evan averages 20 points, 11 rebounds a game, and four and a half blocks. Frank back, back in. in. Yes, exactly. Well Does that said, surprise sir. you? Does that surprise <laughs> it's, you? It's a little quick. Yeah, I thought he might, you know, sit for the rest of the quarter. Bailey checks out. Devin with one more. Rancher Christian able to get it back, but unable to finish was Bryson Stevens. Yeah, he might have been better served to just take that out of the tall trees and set up the offense, but the Sierra Canyon defense just a little too long, a little too large, a little too long for Stevens there. Martin thought about the three, now he'll take it. Back the other way comes Evan Mobley. Dominic Harris sifting through traffic, and the cleanup by Evan Mobley, who jams it through. Pippen quickly the other way. Fouled with the ball on the ground, but boy did Scotty Pippen Jr. get up the floor. His ability to change speeds is really impressive. He was sort of coasting, and then suddenly he exploded to the basket. We see the other basket by Rancho Christian on the other end after Harris drew three defenders. It was the easiest basket that Evan Mobley's had all night as Ray Bearfield looks on wondering how come every time Pippen goes to the basket. I'm oh, sorry, Andre uh, Chevalier looking on. He, uh, he's got to be pleased with the, the offensive execution here in the third quarter. Much better than we saw in the first half from Sierra Canyon. Martin tried to back Harris down. Frank's jumper is good. Nice looking jump shot by Taryn Frank. I think that's a little unexpected bonus. I uh, thought there might be a little of rust on Taryn's outside game, having not played at all this year. Isaiah Mobley with the layup. They're exchanging buckets, yeah, and it's Rancho Christian by one. Excellent footwork that time by Mobley against Martin, a very good defender. The only misses. Here come the Eagles in the open court, and they turn it over. 
Stevens got a little excited there. He had numbers, and if he'd have made a more traditional two-hand pass, they had Harris open in the corner, and we've seen Harris bury him all night long. Well, back and forth we go in the third quarter, and this one is not disappointing. There's Andre Chevalier, a great player in his day at oh. Cal State Northridge. And all city at uh, Cleveland Cleveland High School, High School for yeah. the Cavaliers. Went back and coached his alma mater for a while. Had Nick Young, the former Laker there. Again, Pippen creating. Yeah, he's been able to get everywhere he wants to with the bounce. There you see, waits for the defense to separate, a little reverse pivot, takes it strong into the body of the defender and finds himself back at the free throw line. He seems to be playing like a chess master. He's about a step ahead of everybody else as far as where he wants to go and what he wants to do in the offensive zone. Well, it's his quickness. He is tough to stay in front of. Pippen looking for his 17th point of the evening. And he has it. And that gives the Trailblazers a lead of one. For the seesaw third quarter. High screen roll from the Mobleys. Isaiah Mobley's pass eludes Jaden Byers. I was just thinking the same thing, and Ray Bearfield and I on the same page. I thought it was about time for Luke Turner to re-enter the game because he was all the offense in the first half. I don't think he's had a shot here in the second half. Luke back in the game, number 22. Yeah, knocked down a couple threes, had 11 first half points. Lob inside, Martin's got it with the left hand. He's ambidextrous, Turner rebound. His pass nearly stolen by the hustling Amari Bailey. Excellent post defense from Luke Turner. They had him on K.J. Martin that time, and he knew he'd have weak side help from, from uh, Evan Mobley, but Turner held his ground. Montgomery to Mobley. He's underneath. He's tied up. Bailey knocked it away, and Frank picks it up. Wow, what a contact there for a play on. Pippen for three. Coloco tipped it last. Give the ball to Rancho Christian. Isaiah Mobley and I are on the same page. He says, wow. He said, I, <laughs> I had three guys grabbing my arms, and it was a play on. But here we go. Final minute of the third quarter. Bailey defending against Montgomery. Isaiah Mobley from deep. Pippen took that away from Dominic Harris. Harris got it back. Kicked out of bounds by Coloco. <laughs> Both coaches are going after the referees now. There's been a lot of contact here in the late stages of the third quarter, but what a determined effort from Dominic Harris to steal it from Pippen, and then Coloco's foot got in the way. There's Ray Bearfield from seventh year coach at Rancho Christian. Well, we wanted the refs to let him play, Randy, and I think uh, we got our wish. Well, Bearfield won a CF section title back in the 2015-2016 season at Rancho Christian. They want to win the Open this year, also the state. They have lofty goals. Final seconds of the third quarter. Montgomery handling the basketball, going to the cup, and Coloco rejects it to Pippen. Pippen all the way, reverse layup for two. Transition basketball at its best. Trailblazers by three. After three. Unbelievable shot making. There's one from Stanley. And here's the follow by Mobley. We've seen it all. Great offensive firepower in the third quarter as Martin jams it through and flexes. Pacific Surfliner Game of the Week on KDOC-TV is brought to you by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Andy Ellis, and for over 19 years, I've been helping injured people throughout Southern California. We helped Juan, who was seriously injured when an 18-wheeler rear-ended his car. 
We helped Monica, who was T-boned when a car ran a stop sign. At Ellis Law, every day we help people seriously injured in accidents. And if you're seriously injured, we'll be here to help you too. Call Ellis Law at 1-800-INJURED. One call does it all. Call 1-800-INJURED. Why just drive? And you can be thrilled. See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Go to the fourth quarter at Sierra Canyon by a three, and the Trailblazers feeling a little bit better about themselves. Yes, they, they ramped up their intensity on defense, and that translated to offense. But the star of the third quarter was, without question, Scotty Pippen. That last layup he made to end the quarter changed hands, reversed it, went with the left hand. Uh, that's just a, a, a major college move by Scotty Pippen. And Ray Bearfield didn't like that at all. We get a timeout six seconds into the quarter. Well, he knows that the momentum has swung to Sierra Canyon, and he wants perfection. Remember, he wants to knock off this Sierra Canyon team badly because, again, it was Sierra Canyon that knocked them out of the playoffs a year ago. Yeah, no, no doubt about that. I mean, these two teams have had their uh, eyes on each other since the beginning of the season. And Rancho Christian played as tough a schedule as anybody. I mean, their quality wins going across the country and, and playing teams like Memphis East and James Wiseman and, and Federal Way out of Washington, a couple of wins over Corona Centennial. Uh, they knew that this one, though, would be the toughest one of the year. Mobley gives it to Harris in traffic. Coloco made him pay. Coloco, again, a terrific shot blocker for the Trailblazers. Pippen in the open floor. We know what he can do. This time he throws it up over the iron. And a breakout for Rancho Christian. And Harris, oh, what a block by Martin. And he took it out of the air. K.J. Martin with a fabulous play. Frank for three. Remember that sequence. A certain dunk for Harris is denied by a tremendous block by K.J. Martin at the apex and then a three at the other end. Outstanding transition basketball. The answer, Montgomery comes up short. I believe Pippen's controlling the game. Yeah, yeah he is. He's, he has uh, scored when he had to. He's gotten his uh, teammates good looks. Frank, who just hit the three ball, working against Turner. Fall back, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Montgomery. 6.40 to play. Rancho Christian needs a bucket. From deep, in and out for Evan Mobley. Pippen, Montgomery slapped it away. And going to rescue the ball is Scotty Pippen Jr. But I think you see where Rancho Christian's going to have to attack in the, the last few minutes. I think they need to go outside. It's too tough inside. Pippen had his pocket picked beautifully by Evan Mobley. I'd like to see him get 22, get Luke Turner a shot. Harris is fouled as he attacked the cup. But it is a man's game inside the paint. We have seen some serious blocks. Yeah, this game isn't for the faint of heart. <laughs> but Harris, who is fearless, gets to the line to shoot a pair. Dominic Harris, a prolific scorer. Harris can play point or shooting guard. Oh, gosh, yeah. He's a combo guard by all definitions. Uh, got a great handle, good enough to play the point if, if needed, but can certainly score the ball. He's got 19 points to lead Rancho Christian. Sierra Canyon taking the timeout. Well, of course, in front of us, Mr. Professor, we have the CIF Southern Section Open Division playoffs. And I'm truly looking forward to that. And then we have uh, 
Later down the road, the LA City Section Championship, and you've already billboarded, believing it's going to be Fairfax and Westchester, and that wouldn't be a shock. And <laughs> Cal State Northridge and UC Irvine, some college basketball out of the Big West. Anteaters having a fabulous year. They are indeed. I think a little bit of a surprise in the Big West Conference, but yeah, they are certainly uh, are capable of, of winning uh, an NCAA tournament bid by winning the tournament. But we've got some great games. Uh, the Southern Section playoffs, especially when you talk about the Open Division and, and Division One this year because they took the top eight teams out of Division One for the Open Division. And they left a lot of really good teams in that Division One. So we'll have it for you on KDOC TV. But, but no matter what game we choose, you know it'll be the best that we can find. Emily Harris, the Gonzaga commit knocks them both down. Four point lead for the Trailblazers. Lobbing for Martin. He's playing over everyone at 6 7. So strong and so adept with either hand. Rachel Christian, mm. shots not falling from the perimeter. Just a little too quick. No passes on that possession whatsoever. Bailey put it up. Martin with the return. The leak out for Byers. And he's fouled by Pippen. A little bit of a look from Jaden Byers towards Scotty Pippen, and Scotty looks back at him, but Byers had to know this was coming because he took it strong to the hoop. Pippen's second foul. Now you got to step up and make the two free throws, or it turns out to be a good play by Pippen. Byers just a sophomore, has the first one. He averages five a game. Huge upside. I think he's going to be a terrific player. But watch the diagonal alley-oop and the soft finish by K.J. Martin. To say that either one of these teams are going to be a tough out in the open division <laughs> would be a <laughs> huge they, understatement. Yeah, yeah, they are the favorites by far, although I think Josh Giles and the uh, Corona Centennial Huskies will have a little something to say about that. Pippen facing the teeth of the defense, couldn't fire the shot, so able to drop it off to a teammate. Now they'll reset the offense. Andre Chevalier up off the bench directing his team. Cassius Stanley came up short. Coloco tipped it out of bounds off of Rancho Christian. And the Trailblazers will get another crack at the goal. Stanley gets up a little bit hobbling there. He landed awkwardly. And when you land from three feet to four feet off the ground, you have a chance to land awkwardly. I wouldn't know about that. Cassius is, again, a fun player to watch because everything is under control. Well, and he's uh, he's narrowed his choices down, I believe, to UCLA, Oregon, and Kansas. And so whoever just, uh, gets his services is getting a, an elite athlete, to be sure. Stanley brings it into Coloco. And the Trailblazers will look for Stanley. That's way offline and out of bounds to the Eagles. And I got to wonder if maybe that uh, problem he's having with the thigh or the leg might have affected his elevation on that one because that was off. We had a good look at it. That was off from the from the get go. We're inside of five minutes, so it's money time for the Blazers and the Eagles. They're going to trap in the corner and a steal by the freshman Bailey behind his back. Drops it off to Martin and the flush. That's a freshman, folks. Hard Amari to believe. Bailey went behind his back, elevated and realized he wasn't going to get clear for his own shot, and then dropped it off. An outstanding play. They dropped it off for Martin for the flush. And again, Byers couldn't hit it out of the corner. Dangerous time here for Rancho Christian. They really need a stop. Game's getting a little bit out of hand for the Eagles. Kippen. Oh, got away with an offensive foul. And he draws the foul. An impressive guard, Scotty Pippen Jr. Great block there by Mark. Terrific athleticism. Frank with a critical three. And they're looking very good with the inside play of KJ. If you want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Get an extra thousand when you trade. That's 5,000 total cash plus another thousand on Explorer. Only at your Southern California Ford dealers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. 
Your favorite restaurants now deliver with DoorDash. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're hungry for. It doesn't even matter how many you are. Restaurants come to you. Delicious at your door. Download DoorDash. First order, $1 delivery fee. Well, Ray Bearfield laying down the law to his team. They're back by six, just above four minutes to play. They need to make some outside shots, yeah, Paul. Yeah. They've really struggled from the perimeter. And I want to remind everyone, coming up, you know, American Ninja Warrior. Talk now there are some great athletes, yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. No, Ray Bearfield, I think, uh, realizes that the inside play is, is coming a little tough. Uh, they're not calling the fouls, so you're going to have to. I think you're going to have to make something from the perimeter. Yeah, you tried out to be a ninja warrior, didn't you? Yeah, they, they didn't even let me through the gate. <laughs> That's coming up next. After this one, ooh, you don't see that from Scotty Pippen Jr. No, often. A, a rare bad miss, and everybody misses some, but uh, that one was way off. He has another one, looking for his 20th point of the evening. And he got the bounce. Well, let's see if they can get 22 Turner or 20 Harris, something from beyond the arc. Mobley out on top. Tenacious defense by Sierra Canyon. And they force the turnover. Martin, the outlet to Pippen. Here he comes. He has the easy one. That great defense leads yeah. to transition offense. See, while well intentioned to drive the baseline, I think this is a better play right now. Harris and a much needed three ball for Rancho Christian. Three and a half to play. And Cassius Stanley showing he has point guard skills. It's just too hard to score inside against Sierra, Sierra Cannon here in the second half. So I would drive and kick rather than try to penetrate and score. Stanley. Well, that's a travel. It is. He looked up and he saw Evan Mobley. He shuffled his feet. That's a big turnover. Gives, you'll see it here. Nice job by Mobley to force him into changing his mind, and that caused the travel. But once again, I'm looking for the perimeter. I'm looking for this man, Harris, and if not him, Luke Turner, number 22. I think trying to get it in the paint right now is, is a losing proposition. Yet another deflection for Scotty Pippen, Jr. Turner out of the corner. <laughs> Terrific play by Montgomery. Yes. He made the play, and Rancho Christian will get it back. Exactly right. That is a heady play by the point guard, but I like the way the offense was run. Isaiah Mobley drove the baseline and kicked it out to a good shooter from the corner. Luke just didn't make it. The Mobley's in tandem. 58-54. Terrific pocket pass by Isaiah Mobley. I didn't even know how he saw his brother, but I guess after all these years, they don't have to see each other to know where they are. How can you miss him, though? He's, <laughs> these are tall men. And it was a beautiful pocket pass. Rancho Christian looking to hunker down defensively. They're alive here at Pasadena City College. Pippen. Nice. And he's always going to keep... The offense in high gear. He knows exactly what he's doing. On the 10 on the shot clock. Now he goes to work. Martin cleans up, gives him a second opportunity. You just can't have that. You work so hard. Excellent seal. Isaiah Mobley in the open court after the theft and scores. And it's a two point lead oh, for Sierra Canyon. He was riding KJ Martin's shoulder the whole way down and then knew once he got to the block, he could elevate over him. That's a terrific play, and they're back within two. One against two in the state of California. Who will be the top seed in the open division? It'll be determined in the next couple minutes. The two elite teams in Southern California. Stanley on the baseline. Brilliant rejection. What a great play inside by Evan Mobley. Turner trapped. Turner for three in the lead. They're on their feet at Pasadena City College. 
A remarkable play on both ends. First the help side block, and then the recognition by Mobley to find Turner with his feet set for three. Pippen. A timeout before taken by Andre Shabai. And look at the enthusiasm and the fan base going crazy for Rancho Christian. We're all into it now. And this is some special block by Evan Mobley. Excellent defense to begin the play by Montgomery on the dangerous Stanley. And then he knew that he had the long arm of Evan Mobley to come help side who got the block. And then they pushed it up the court. And what a terrific job of getting the ball to Turner in the corner for the three ball. It was 58-52, Randy. And Sierra Canyon had the ball. And Cassius Stanley traveled. And that is what has spurred this 7-0 run by the Eagles. And Rancho Christian has come back to take the lead with just 82 seconds left. The game has lived up to the billing, and you love that. Oh, my God, it can't get any better than this. Maybe it didn't get to 80 points like I thought it might, but every basket has been dramatic. Every possession has been where you earn even just a good shot attempt, let alone a basket. Stanley brings it in to the freshman Bailey. Again, he doesn't play like a freshman, but they turn it over. Bailey and Pippen not on the same page. A really tough angle bounce pass to Pippen, and then it kind of short hops Scotty. He never had a chance. Now they need to stop. You got to think the ball's going to go to Mobley, right? One of the Mobleys. Turner pressured by Bailey. Yeah, it'll start there, but they're such good passers that if somebody presents themselves to be open, they'll give it up. But first, they're going to run some clock. Goes down to Harris. Dangerous, nearly stolen by Martin at the 10 second line. Plenty of time. 10 on the shot clock. Evan Mobley all the way. No foul. Wow. Wow. Chance for the Trailblazers to take the lead. Pippen is fouled by Harris with 41 seconds left. Pippen will toe the stripe. If he can make two, they can gain the lead. You'll see here, Scotty's foot is clearly on the line, so it will be a two-shot opportunity, not a three. But down on the other end, I seriously believe that Mobley got hacked by Coloco, and it was a play on. Well, you expect contact with the big fellas, and you're right. There was a lot of it there. Not sure what Coach Chevalier is upset about, but... Uh, Scotty's foot was clearly on the line, Andre, and you'll see that when you watch. Uh, I'm sure you've recorded this. You'll see it. The refs made a, the right call. It remains a one-point lead for Rancho Christian. Now you have to box out here. This one Rancho is for Christian the time. has allowed a lot of second-chance opportunities in this second half for Sierra Canyon. You've got to get the rebound if he misses. I think there's a lot of people in the building would love to see overtime. Here's the next one. That fails, but it comes back to Bailey. 59-58 for Rancho Christian with 35 seconds left. Five-second difference between shot and game clock. Stanley looking low to Martin. Fell down. That's a travel, I think, or a hell ball. ball. One or the other. It'll stay at that end. Oh, Ray Bearfield is furious on the, and Scotty Pippen's very happy. But uh, this is a travel, folks. I mean, that he slid three feet along the floor. Should uh -huh. be Rancho Christian ball. Pippen, you could see Scotty Senior there just smiling, knowing that was not the proper call. And hands here, up in arms. It was the Trailblazers that took the timeout. Again, next week will be at the CIF Southern Section. Friday night, open division playoffs. We'll have an elite game for you. It'll be kind of like what we're seeing here tonight. <laughs> Indeed, because all those eight teams are really good, and it doesn't matter who matches up. But we will take a look, and we will bring you the best game that we can find, and don't miss it next week, Friday night, 7.30, KDOC. The best of the best. It's the open division of the Southern Section. Take another look at this, but uh, the Sierra Canyon player who had the ball slid a couple of feet and then lost possession of the ball. So I, I just, I, I don't know how in the world this ends up being a held ball situation because nobody from Rancho Christian had the ball at the same time that the Sierra Canyon player had the ball. So uh, that's a tough time for a miss, but that should have been Eagles basketball. 
Eagles by one. 23 seconds left. Trailblazers trying to get the lead. It's a turnover. Terrific pressure defense from Evan Mobley. Mobley tipping the ball caused Taron Frank to have to move his feet to recover it. And when he did, he stepped on the sideline. We'll see it right here. Clearly out of bounds. Timeout. This one taken by Rancho Christian. Well, shot clock is off, so you're going to have to play the foul game here if you're Sierra Canyon. You can't just let them run the clock. So I expect that Coach Chevalier knows who the better and the poorer foul shooters are on Rancho Christian. But, of course, the first thing is you got to get the ball inbound. So I guess as Ray Bearfield has drawn up his best inbound play in order to start that whole thing in proper motion. I'm guessing basketball fans would endorse the fact that Sierra Canyon and Rancho Christian could meet for the open division <laughs> title. We'd love to see this act again. Take two would be sensational. No this game tonight has been truly fun. Yeah, no question about it. I think most people felt that they were the one and two teams all season long. They've done nothing to change everyone's opinion. And this has been a, a fantastic battle with high intensity on both ends of the court. Here we go. Isaiah Mobley into Montgomery. Bailey chasing and fouling. Nice job by Montgomery to sprint to the basketball. But that, they're not in the bonus yet. So that's only the 15 foul on Sierra Canyon. So they're going to have to foul twice more in order to get the one plus one started. Fouls will be coming quickly. So got to inbound the ball properly though. Comes into Turner, and they race over and foul. Nice job by Turner to present himself to the inbound passer. Now they say, uh, I don't think that's the, somehow they had five team fouls up there after the last one, and now it's gone to the one plus one. So they're going to, I'm sure they're going to take a moment and really make sure that they've got this correct at the scorer's table. This is huge, and now they have indeed put it up there as the seventh team foul. So I'm not sure how we went from five to seven so quickly, but if you're Sierra Canyon, you're happy with that because you need possession of the ball. Luke Turner at the line. The sophomore earns the bonus. He, Money. That, that stroke is pure. Eagles by two with a furious fourth quarter rush. Mobley tips it, taken by Turner. Got a foul, got a foul. Stanley comes out and fouls Montgomery. How frustrating for Sierra Canyon not to get the ball back after the free throw miss. A taste of their own medicine. Sierra Canyon had gotten numerous second chance opportunities in this half by their own relentless pursuit of offensive rebounds. But that time it was Evan Mobley who took care of business. He's one of their leaders, mature player. Jordan Montgomery, veteran, seasoned at the line. This one can make it a two possession game and doesn't. Rebound taken by Frank. A three ball to tie it now for the Trailblazers. Do you foul or do you let them shoot a three? I'm in the foul category. I would foul him. Pippen for three. That won't get there. Rancho Christian wins. What a comeback. It was 58-52 Sierra Canyon and they had the basketball. A traveling call against Cassius Stanley was the impetus that turned it around and the Rancho Christian Eagles score the last nine points of the game to win it. 61-58, Randy, what a game. What a finish. Composure by Rancho Christian. They win the game 61-58. They will be the top seed in the tournament. I want to thank everyone on our David Otta production crew and for showcasing this game. We're going to come back and have some more details. Crew did a wonderful job capturing that shot by Luke Turner. 61-58, Rancho Christian upends Sierra Canyon on our Pacific Surfliner Game of the Week. Stay with us. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? 
See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Your story begins the moment you enroll at Concord to become a vocational nurse. It will take hard work, sacrifice, but in as few as 13 months, you will be on your way to an in-demand career with a bright future. In the end, you will take pride knowing that what you do enhances the lives of the people in your community. Opportunity awaits. Enroll today by visiting concord.edu. Your story starts now. Most people that we talk to feel like they've worked hard to save money their whole life, making monthly contributions to 401ks and IRAs just like they were told to do, but are frustrated because they don't have enough money for retirement. If you can relate to any of this, the first thing I want to tell you is that it's not your fault. Everyone has been programmed to think and invest the wrong way from a very young age. Many of the decisions that you've been taught to make are designed to make Wall Street wealthy and not you. In these classrooms, thousands of people just like you have discovered how to reinvent themselves financially. You can too. Call 855-839-3965 right now to sign up for a free half-day class near you. Plus, you'll get our free Wall Street Insider Kit, which includes two educational investing videos and access to award-winning articles and lessons from our expert instructors. Call 855-839-3965. Learn financial skills that will empower you to live the life you want to live. Why just drive when you can be thrilled? See all offers at buyatoyota.com. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. They don't want to leave the gym here at Pasadena <laughs> City College. And why would they after what we just witnessed? Rancho Christian storming back to overhaul Sierra Canyon and prevail 61-58. Randy Rosemont back with the professor, Paul Westfall. And Paul, that was tremendous stuff, and these highlights will accent that. Oh, I'll tell you, every basket was hard-earned, high-flying stuff, everybody playing way above the rim, whether it's to slam one home or to get a rebound or block a shot. There was terrific highlights all the way through. K.J. Martin was brilliant. Martin had 16 for Sierra Canyon. Evan Mobley was terrific as well. What a performance by Rancho Christian. These two teams are destined to meet again. And you can see next week we will have an open division playoff game for you on our Pacific Surfliner Game of the Week on KDOC. And it'll be much like what we saw here tonight. Spectacular stuff. And remember, we've got those ninjas coming up on KDOC. For Paul Westfall and our entire David Otta crew, my name is Randy Rosen saying goodbye from Pasadena City College. You had to love it. All the throwdowns, all the excitement of a dramatic win for Rancho Christian. We'll all catch our breath. We'll see you for the playoffs. Take care, everybody, and good night from Pasadena City College, where Rancho Christian prevails. Off your first order. Download the free Poshmark.